Hello, this is JB with the Good News URL Shortener with a demo on how to set up a dynamic QR code. So I'm logged into my dashboard for the Good News URL Shortener and I want to uh, create a QR code. Well, the first thing I need to do is get a short URL. So let's say that I want to have uh, this page about the API documentation. I want to create a short URL for that. Well, I could just click here on my uh, URL shortener bookmarklet. And as you can see, it's filled in the URL. Um, API doc will put for a reference note. Um, you'll notice here that I could either have that it will be uh, jbmckee.com slash z will be the default. Is My custom domain is jbmckee.com or I could use jb.hop2.it slash z. Or if I want to have not z but something else, I could type that into uh, the code key box here. But for right now, we'll just use that. There's no reason. Okay, so now we have the uh, link created. We'll close out of that. So now we'll go in, we'll look at the short URLs. And down at the bottom, there's the Z one to my URL shortener site doc. And let's go in here and let's click the uh, QR code to create a QR code for this um, short URL. Uh, so you notice here that you have some options. Uh, so we're going to create a new QR code. We have the option of having small, medium, or large. Let's use a large for the demonstration purposes. Uh, so custom domain. Since I have a custom domain, I can choose to have it use that custom domain or I could choose to have it use a standard domain. So I'll leave it on the custom domain and uh, we can pick a color. Uh, we'll pick green. Now, if you use the API, you could actually have any color you want. You pass in the hexadecimal value for the color you want. But remember that you want a dark color on a light background. So these are all dark colors here. So we'll click generate QR code. And there it is. This is now the QR code. Now, if I were to scan this with a mobile device, it would take me to this page here, the API documentation page. Now, let's make this, what makes this a dynamic QR code is that I could change this now without changing this QR code that maybe I have printed out and sent it out on flyers or put it on a sign or something like that. Um, I don't want to have it go to the same place. So I could actually dynamically change it. So we go back to the shortened URL and we can click update. Uh, now let's use this as the one that we're going to, we're going to now send it over to the uh, page about the custom URL shortener. And so we'll copy that link. And I replace that in the target URL. And I could update that reference. Now pointing to custom and I click save. Now when I go to that QR code, uh, if that QR code is scanned with the mobile device, it will now direct them to uh, this page instead. So that's the nice thing about a dynamic QR code a generator is that you're able to change the destination of the QR code without having to print a new QR code. So it could be for existing ones that are already out there uh, on flyers and menus, on signs, wherever it is. 
and perhaps you have a QR code that you use for a special discount, that discount expires, you want to send that QR code to another offer. So this is where it's very useful. Okay, thank you for uh, your time and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.